ultra-wideband radar is popular in both commercial and defense industries because of its high accuracy for target detection, capability for through-wall detection, and ability to be combined with communication systems to lower costs. Testing of radar systems can be extremely time-consuming and expensive. Radar algorithms need to be validated early enough to change the signal processing hardware design. Hardware transceivers must be tested with realistic environment and jamming scenarios, which often involve costly outdoor ranges, chambers, and real-time hardware simulators. To dramatically lower cost, Agilent System View can be used with Agilent test equipment to model many of these same scenarios. In this video, we show the generation of realistic UWB waveforms. SystemView is more than just waveform creation software. SystemView is an electronic system-level design platform that allows you to first design a complete radar system that includes both baseband DSP and RF content, validate the system under real-world conditions, and then create waveforms for testing. SystemView is at the center of a solution that takes you from design through validation and test. Now we will focus on the last step in the flow, creating waveforms. Shown here is a test setup for generating UWB radar signals. Different UWB waveforms are generated in system view, which are then downloaded to the Agilent 81180A wideband arbitrary waveform generator. The output differential IQ signals of the arbitrary waveform generator are modulated by the Agilent E8267D PSG vector signal generator to create an X, KU, or KA band signal. This signal can be used directly as an input to test a radar receiver. However, in this presentation, we will look at the signal on the 90,000 X series oscilloscope using the Agilent 89600A vector signal analyzer software. Now let's focus on system view and generating various UWB waveforms. In this system view schematic, you can see that there are three UWB signal sources, including LFM, Impulse, and OFDM. The system is first simulated to verify the desired performance as shown here. Then the active source signal is downloaded to the 81180A via the signal downloader AWG1 in order to generate an unimpaired UWB transmitter signal that is used to test the radar receiver. The signal is then sent to a radar target model where characteristics such as velocity, range, and environmental effects will be added. The signal is then downloaded to the 81180A via the signal downloader AWG2. This signal is used to test how the radar receiver reacts to the return signal modified by a target and the environment. These signals are generated using components from the SystemView algorithm design and radar libraries. SystemView is a multi-language modeling platform that allows you to easily include your own C++ code, MATLAB models, or measured data to further modify the signals. Let's take a look at generating the three types of UWB signals. First, we will create an impulse UWB signal. A low-cost impulse UWB waveform is often used for through-wall detection. In the system view schematic, the impulse source is activated to create the signal with a 1 GHz bandwidth, a 2 nanosecond pulse width, and a 10 microsecond repetition interval. Here is the spectrum and time domain waveform of the signal, as viewed on the 90,000X series oscilloscope with the VSA software. Next, we will create an OFDM UWB waveform, which is often used for two-mode systems, incorporating both communication and radar. In the system view schematic, the OFDM UWB source is activated to create the signal with a 1 GHz bandwidth and multiburst. Again, the spectrum and time domain waveform of the signal are viewed on the 90,000 X-series oscilloscope with the VSA software. Now we will create an LFM UWB signal with a 1 GHz bandwidth, a 1 microsecond pulse width, and a 10 microsecond repetition interval. In the upper left plot, we can see the 1 GHz wide radar spectrum centered at 10 GHz. The log magnitude envelope versus time 
is shown in the lower left plot. The signal phase is shown in the upper right plot and the 1 GHz wide LFM chirp in the lower right plot. So far, all of our signals have been ideal. System View makes it easy to go one step further and create signals that include the effects of RF hardware, targets, and the environment, thus allowing you to test your radar with realistic scenarios. For our final example, we create a similar LFM UWB signal. However, this time the signal has been affected by a target with a range of 100 meters and a velocity of 20 meters per second. The same measurements are made as in the previous example, except that the lower left corner is now a measurement of the signal's time domain waveform. The impact of the target and the environment can be seen in all of the plots. We have shown how Agilent System View, along with Agilent Test Equipment, is used to generate realistic UWB signals. This dramatically lowers cost of testing radar systems and allows you to test at your convenience. System View is a powerful system level design tool that takes you from design through validation and test of communications and defense systems. If you are interested in radar system design, please visit www.agilent.com/find/esof-systemview-radar. <laughs>